Okay, so we're designing a replacement for the circle bit that goes in a microwave. So because this won't fit on the print bed, I have to print it in thirds, which is 120 degrees. So if you have a look, uh, I'm in Autodesk. Right, so I'll rotate. I've got a little rectangle here, and I've created a path of 120 degrees. So what we do, we go to Sweep, and I want to extend that face onto this path and merge them. Job done. Now we've got a design in full 3D ready to print. So if we print uh, three of them, uh, we'll be able to glue them together and uh, make a replacement. My Flashforge Dreamer, I'm printing a spare part that I've designed for a French microwave oven. It's nearly musical. Here's the part I just printed on my Flashforge Dreamer. It was for a friend's microwave turntable. As you can see, this one's broken. So I measured it up and my design is perfect. So I uh, pinched the wheels off the original. Right. And I just melted the end so the wheels are on there secure. And if we just grab the glass plate, put it on top, minimal effort to turn it so there's uh, there's a successful print thanks to the Flashforge 3D printer here we are we've got our brand new printed part with the wheels and whoops it sits in there perfect and now we can just put the plate on top and voila it spins effortlessly. So let's try it with a cup of water. We'll just go a minute. And we can't see a thing. But uh, it is turning. And just to see if it is turning, I'll put it to one side. And there it goes. That is such a nerdy and cool thing to be able to print your own spare parts on your own printer. So, and this file is now available for free download on uh, Thingiverse. Enjoy! Oh, that's if you have this model uh, microwave oven. Alright, bye!